This video is sponsored by Guitar World and Bog Street Guitar Picks. Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out some Axe Series guitar picks from Bog Street. When you're talking about guitar picks, you were talking about a very subjective, very personal choice when it comes to playing your guitar or bass or banjo or anything else that requires the use of a plectrum. They come in all shapes and sizes. They have been around for a gazillion years. However, new designs are few and far between as far as designs, in my opinion, that really change how you can play and how you can sound. Now, this video is not to debate how different guitar picks make you sound, but rather how these new Bog Street picks can make me play. Now, before we go any further, Bog Street has asked me to show you guys these Axe Series picks. This is a sponsored video, however, all opinions that I state in this video are mine. Now we're gonna be looking at three different levels of picks from Bog Street's Axe series. Now, all of these picks have a center hole cut in them, but all three series have different features. So first is the Axe Cut. The Axe Cut is a large pick that is three-sided and it has two sharper points and one rounder and thinner tip. So you have two thick and one thin, and you can then rotate it for, you know, thick and sharp for solos, thin and round for rhythm work, for example. Next are the ax blade picks. These are very similar to the ax cut picks, but physically smaller. Think of it as a regular Tortex versus like a Jazz 3 kind of size uh, difference. However, this will be much more compact feeling than the Axe Cut series. And finally, we have the Battle Axe. Now this is all sharp, all thick. These are the same thickness all the way around the pick and they vary in thicknesses, but you get the same tip on all three sides. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to put the Dunlop Tortex Flex up against the Bog Street picks. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to record to a click and I'm going to do the, the same galloping single string riff over and over again. My arm is already tired just thinking about it, but we are going to do the same riff with each of the four picks that I have. The Dunlop being the control and then each Bog Street being the test. I may biff it, I may not. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna do it for science. All right, so what do we think? Now, that last one with the battle axe, I biffed a little bit because my arm was getting tired. However, for me, uh, this actually goes against everything that I thought I liked. Uh, this is a thicker, more robust pick. I typically don't like very, very thick picks. I, you know, this is a .88 uh, Flex Tortex that I normally use. Uh, this is, how, how, uh, how thick is this thing? This is a 2.0 thickness. That is very, very thick. I haven't used uh, picks this thick since I was 20 years old. However, I feel like my playing was the tightest and the best using the battle ax, which is interesting because I don't typically like a super, super sharp point. Not that this is super, super sharp, but it's a little less rounded than my Tortex. However, 
I was I felt like I was able to glide over the string, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that result with any of these actually. I'll be I'll be honest. Um, very very cool. I like the center hole in the middle. How I can just grip it and not worry about it going anywhere, which is a problem for me in a live setting when I am soaked with sweat and my hands are moist and I'm trying to hold on to the pick. That was actually a legitimate problem while on tour and has been for every tour I've ever done. So something like this and the Bog Street stuff definitely helps me out in that situation. Very cool, very surprised at my little test for science. And uh, yeah, big shout out to Bog Street for sponsoring this video. I will link down below in the description if you would like more information on anything from Bog Street Picks. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things, so consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.